Hey there folks, my name is Caleb Downing and today we're going to talk about what to do on your first day at the range. Alright, so first day at the range. Whether this be your first day ever going to the range or it's just been a while and you're going to go back and shoot at the range or something like that. Kind of some differences, but we're just going to try to handle it as an overall kind of thing. All right, so before you even head out to the range, I would suggest planning your trip a couple days prior to when you're going to go. There are times whenever all of a sudden you have a free weekend or a free day that you weren't expecting and you're like, I just want to go to the range. Okay, that's going to be a little bit different. In that case, you're going to throw your stuff in your bag. Heading out to the range, you want to know what you want to accomplish, right? You all, we all hear the thing, or the term or the phrase, whatever it is, knowledge is power. All right, well, planning kind of knowledge, using your brain to figure out what do you want to accomplish on this range trip, right? Whether it be your first trip to, the, to any range or, like I said, you just, you know, you haven't been in a while and there's things you want to do. What do you want to do, all right? Do you want to t try out a new holster, right? With me, these are some things that I've been testing out and trying out, so whenever I go to the range, I have to plan out prior what I want to do. If I know I'm going to be planning out, uh, or planning out, if I know I'm going to be testing out a new holster, that means I'm going to need to go to a range that allows me to draw from a holster, right? It's not really going to do me any good to test out a new holster if the range I'm going to doesn't even let you use that. So think about that kind of thing, right? Are they going to allow you to do a bunch of mag changes and shoot real fast, right? Here's another gun that I'm working on. I've got a gas system in here and this Ultimac rail uh, gas tube. I'm going to have to be shooting this thing, taking it apart, tuning it. Are you going to a range that's going to allow you to do that kind of stuff? Very, very, very important, right? Since we're talking about ranges, are you going to a private range or a public range? I've been very blessed in the past to have been able to go to a guy's private range. And most of the time, literally like 90% of the time I go, I am the only one there, which means I get to do a whole bunch of stuff. I can shoot Tannerite. I've blown up pianos, right? I've, I've set things on fire. I've run around in, in, my, in my plate carrier, my full kit, and just shooting stuff and doing things and practicing tactics and just all kinds of things. Well, you can't do that at most public ranges. So if you're at a private range, you have, you have you know, some more things that you can do. But if you're at a public range, you're probably going to be doing more bench rest shooting. So knowing what kind of range you're going to, that really helps you. And knowing what distance that range has available to you that's a big thing too because maybe you've got a long gun, right? I've got a Remington 700 and 30 6 that I'm working on. I'm not going to bring that to a pistol range and test out accuracy, right? So knowing what you want to do before you get there is very, very important. I know, like, like I said, these are different things I'm working on. I'm working on this right here, technically pistol, um, and I've got different magazines for it, right? I'm already testing out reliability issues. I'm running into reliability, reliability issues. So I've got to test out different magazines, right? I've got some new ones that I've had some luck with, but I know I need to bring these out and I need to load them up uh, beforehand and get them ready to go. I'm doing a lot of magazines actually lately. These S15 Gen 2 magazines, S15 Gen 1 magazines. I got a 10 millimeter I'm working on, uh, the Neo Mag thingy. Bunch of different stuff that I'm working on. And if I don't plan out my trip, that's, I'm, just, I'm not going to get the stuff done that I want to get done. So writing everything out, getting everything done before you, or ready to go before you leave and getting it pre-packaged, right? Like we talked about the range bag, but also setting aside the guns, setting aside the ammo, the magazines, getting all that stuff ready to go. That way you don't forget something because I can't tell you how many times I've gotten to a range and I'm missing some key component of whatever it is, right? Maybe I forgot my shot timer, or I forgot I forgot magazines before, and then you're stuck with a gun with no magazines. Well, you can't really do a whole lot with that, right? So plan out your stuff before you even get there. And when you get there, you need like I. It all goes back to planning, but plan out a couple different options of what you can do, okay? Because sometimes you'll get to the range. And like, like for me, for example, if I went to that guy's private range, sometimes I'd get there and there would be some other people there. Well, that means that I can't do certain things, which is fine. I just have to fall back on another plan, right? So instead of practicing whatever kind of maneuver or movement or I was going to do, well, I'm going to focus on doing some mag changes and doing you know, some accuracy stuff where I can stay more centralized in one location instead of running around and doing stuff. Same kind of thing if you go to a if you go to another range, right? You may have a 
you know, a lot of room to work with, right? Maybe the rifle range is all booked up and you have to go to the pistol range. And that, again, like I kind of said earlier, that means you're probably not going to be testing out your accuracy on your bolt guns. You might have to work on your pistol stuff, right? Does that make sense? So having a couple different plans of what you can do. And then when you get to the range, uh, read the environment, see what's going on, see, see who's there, see what's going on. Sometimes you get different range safety officers that are more finicky about certain things. Maybe they don't want you to shoot fast. Maybe other range safety officers don't care. You got to read your environment and that dictates what you can and can't do. And again, beating a dead horse to death, going back to that plan, having a plan to do what you want to do is very, very important because it, it's not a whole lot of fun when you show up and, you, and you're like overwhelmed. You don't know what to do. All this stuff is going on, all these people and there's people shooting and you're like, this is just too stressful. I'm just going to go home. And then you wasted a trip going out there, right? But knowing what you want to do beforehand is, is a big deal. And then follow through with that plan, right? As best as you can. Get the stuff done that you came there to do. For me, I make a lot of videos. I do a lot of things like that. So I will have certain things that I need to, to test out, whether it be magazines or muzzle brakes or whatever it is. I want to test something out, and that's a specific thing that I need to accomplish on that range trip, right? Once I get that thing done, the, sp the main thing, let's say you got a new carry gun, right? You get a new carry gun or you got a new carry holster or an optic or something you did to it. You want to make sure you, you zero the gun. You want to make sure that you test, you know, make sure the magazines work in the gun. All that kind of stuff. You want to do that first. First thing, because that's the most important thing to do. And then, after you've done those things, then you can kind of relax a little bit more. It's all fun to me, but after you've done those important things, then you can have fun. Then you can just plank and shoot and do, you know, do that other kind of fun stuff. But get the important stuff done first. And that, again, beating a dead horse to death is going back to having a plan. Have a plan and work your plan. So anyway, guys, I hope you found that helpful. I know that it's very, it's kind of hard to do a video specifically on what to do when you get to the range because every range is different and everybody's purpose for going to the range is different. Sometimes it's just for fun. Sometimes it's for training. Sometimes it's for testing. But have a plan and work your plan, all right? Hope you all enjoyed that. Y'all be good to be safe. Let me know what you think about this down below, and uh, we'll see if we can do some more stuff like this, all right? Y'all take care, and hopefully we'll catch y'all in the next video.